Today, it's going to be the beautiful day that you will see my fire go away. <laughs> oh, and also, <coughs> hello, um, viewers at home. Welcome to the incredible Project Mindfulness stream, where we um, do stuff with meditation and mindfulness. And today, we do stuff in a game called Plane. which um, Steam is not allowing me to start up because it first needs to connect. Anyway, it's a game about, about a fox and a plane. It's like an island. <clears throat> then um, you unlock the story the longer you meditate. That's the point of the game. I've been playing it for um, two months. I think it's about two months. I know some other people also played it. Oh, for two months. To see that the wrong chat channel is up. Um, in the meantime, I'm also waiting for my Steam to update. Don't tell me you need to check that before streaming because. I know. I like to live dangerous. Let me just fix that chat widget on the stream. Because we're not in book club. Oh, my internet. Okay. Oh. Everything is loading very slow on my end, people. I think... Um, I'm not sure why. Where's cat? Uh, on the couch? You don't see it? That's a cat lying there on the couch. Uh, he's sleeping, which he should do. Because as a cat, there's not much going on right now. Yeah, it, he's lying on a, a blanket. Hey, Krish. Uh, also, hi, Dizzy's. And hi, Squirm. <clears throat> yeah, so the cat is lying on the blanket, sleeping. Um, in the meantime, I'm waiting sort of for Steam to start up. I might have to do a Control-Alt-Delete there. Also, hi, Esoko. Great to see you. Yeah, it could be uh, some time. Depending on where you are, most uh, or a lot of our streams are at night if you're in Europe. If you're not, they're not at night. But for me, they are. So I always have to watch them back on the Twitch channel. There we go. And now Steam is starting up. That's a good sign. Um, let me think if everything is in place. It should be. So with plane, you uh, meditate, <laughs> and it's a it's a way to help you keep up the practice. Like um, because for meditation, a challenge is sort of to do it every day. Like with any habit, really, it's about doing it every day. Like if you do it once a week. Like brushing your teeth, your teeth are not going to get that much better. It, w it will help more than not doing it, but the trick is to do it every day. And same with meditation. And yeah, that's all good, Krish. Um, 
If you're silent, then um, maybe you're just meditating or sleeping like my cat. It's all good. We uh, unlocked several things. Look at the, oh, the fire is gone. Uh, there we go. Two days. I am. Um, I miss one. Well, I mean, I didn't miss meditating that day, but I miss doing it in plane. Which means the fire will go off, but that doesn't mean all your progress is lost. Look at this. Level 6, still up there. Um, hey, Lemon, great to see you. Yes, uh, I missed you very much. I hope uh, your plane is doing well too. I know you also got the game. <laughs> I see. I see our um, Twitch auto mod um, deleted your message, Lemon, because it contained the word ass, which our auto mod thinks is not appropriate. I do think it's appropriate. What? Oh. But I'm allowing it. Allow. Yeah, yeah, it. it it's um, ass is not an allowed word apparently by the auto moderator, um, <clears throat> but by me it is, so I allow it. Level, yeah, we're close. We're getting f we're four more days until level six. Um, wait, no, four more days until level seven. Um, which means change time, so we can change the time of day. Kind of excited for that. I mean, I'm most excited for the evolve mode, but I have to wait for that. Actually, um, it doesn't say right how many days it would take, like for instance, to get to evolve mode. Or is there a way to see that? I'm not sure. Wait, Lemon is saying he's still at level seven. That's okay. <laughs> That's fine. Um, it doesn't. Yeah, I, I, I just was wondering, like, ah, I wonder how long it will take me for evolve mode. But if I calculate it, sort of, wait, I did 59 meditations and I'm almost at half. So that would possibly mean that I need to do another 65 or something to unlock evolve mode. Not sure. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's look at our beautiful achievements in the lamp. We unlocked parts of the story mode, but we won't look at them here in the stream because they might sort of spoil it for you if you want to pick it up. So plane is on Steam in early access and you can get it, I think for what is it? $8 or Euro if you're in Europe. It's a really fair price. I think it's a really beautiful project. And I think it's really cool that you can do it on your computer like I, I have meditation apps on my phone but I I never had something on my computer and I like it that it's on the computer because that's where I spend sometimes six hours a day or more sitting behind the computer and then having a meditation app to just sort of zone out so Dizzy says I put my video quality on very low and it, it is still buffering what are you talking about? What kind of computer are you running there, Dizzy's? I don't know what mine is on. Resolution. The Wi-Fi, yeah, it could be. Oh wait, sorry, you mean of the stream? Hmm. Yeah, if, if I, everyone has that problem, uh, just let me know. Maybe I can, you know, try to kick my computer, see if it does something. Mm. Let's talk to Fox. I see Lemon's brother's back. Which usually means Lemon has to uh, leave the computer. That's, uh, that's what happens, you know, when you have a shared computer, you have to learn to share. It's kind of dark. I don't know. I feel bad for Fox. I might have to. Uh, Krish, can we buy a, a flashlight? 
Ah, it's fuzzy for you as well. Huh. Weirdo. I'll wait. I'll, one second. I'll check. If I can do something about that. Not for me. So I I can't, I don't know how to edit that right now. To be honest, maybe we'll get better. I think our internet is just really bad. Um, which is unfortunate. Unfortunate. So that means you also can't see my cat on the couch, chilling, and laying down. Let me for a quick second check if I can close some apps, see if that does anything. There, there, there. Close that. That, 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 that. Maybe even. No, I can't close Discord then. Wait, I, did I close Discord now? I'm not sure anymore. Uh oh. All right. Well, if it's still fuzzy, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do about that. Um, I could restart the stream if it really stays that bad. Let's check it out if it got better now. So we're gonna run through how we can meditate in plane. And we do that by talking to Fox and he explains us what we can do. He talks a bit about awareness and thoughts. And it's all about, you know, becoming sort of becoming aware of your thoughts and observing them. So you don't have to interact with them. And one of the things that really helps to, you know, not get into this reactive mode, not to um, drown in your thoughts, is to anchor yourself on the breath. And in plain, you'll see a bubble in the middle growing and make getting smaller and if you focus on that bubble it can help you with the breathing you don't have to though don't get uncomfortable breathing just look at the bubble if you find it helpful and anchor yourself in the breath so when the bubble gets bigger you breathe in and when the bubble gets smaller you breathe out and there's the physical sensation of the breath and the physical sensation is you know, when you breathe in through your nostrils and you'll feel your abdomen and you'll feel your chest and you can become aware of that sensation in this meditation. And then Fox is going to talk a little bit like about thoughts, feelings, and once you meditate, so you anchor yourself in the breath, you become aware of the breath, you will notice that thoughts come up. Thoughts about the past, thoughts about the future. And that's fine, that's normal. You just become aware of those thoughts. You observe them and then you return back to the breath. And so when a thought rises, as a helpful tool, what we'll do is we'll tap our finger. So if you tap your finger, that means that you will uh, make like a physical action that helps you become aware of those thoughts and return back to the physical sensation of your breath. And I do that with my mouse. So if you have the game, you can do it with your mouse. So remember, step one, breathe and be aware of your breath. And step two, two when a thought rises, click your mouse button. Uh, sorry tap your fingers for you and that's it you can close your eyes we can recommend it mm, you can also keep them open it's up to you and that's basically all there is to it just make sure you get like a comfortable seat you know your butt doesn't hurt when you sit for 15 minutes um, you're not getting distracted by others and you find a comfortable place to sit or lie down and we can meditate so I think last time we definitely did the campfire 
But since it's off and there are some nice northern lights going on, I think it's good to meditate by the shoreline. And we might do a little bit of wind this time. We'll see the ref is that a reflection of the moon in the water? Or is that of a cloud? I saw like a here, this reflection. Is that is that from the lights? It's interesting. Uh Dizzy's, how's the quality? Are we still fuzzy? I think it's kind of magical, those reflections. Yeah, I think it's from the moonlight too. It's a sort of magical. It hasn't changed yet. Hmm. Okay, one second. Let's see if I can quickly fix that. Um. Yeah, no, I think I it could definitely be my internet. My internet is kind of weird. Like sometimes it worked. I mean, right before I started streaming, it actually didn't work, and then it started working again. Sort of strange. Anyway, um, you know, if it's if it's still doable, if we can still um, if it still works, we'll just do a meditation session of five fifteen minutes. Lemon says he can't be here yet. Yeah. Dinner coming up. Um, dinner at eight, Lemon. You guys are so, um, so, so um, how do you call that? You enjoy the sun so much. Because <laughs> um, you're in Italy, right? Must be nice. What's up for dinner? We don't know. <laughs> um, so he says he has an amazing sit. He couldn't feel his hands or legs. Ah, that's nice. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I, I imagine um, you eat later also when it's so warm and sunny. We do that too. Alright. If it's totally doable to do the meditation, let's get ready. So, grab a nice uh, pillow. You know? Um, if you want to sit some sort of magical position, like a full lotus, go ahead. But... If you don't, because it hurts too much, just cross your legs, for instance, or um, just sit on a chair or, or lie down. Try to make sure your spine is sort of straight. And let's begin. The instructions are on the screen. So you breathe in. And you exhale. You can use the bubble on screen for guidance. And so try to keep your awareness on your breathing. So feel the breath in your body. And when a thought rises in your mind, tap your finger. You don't have to encourage any thoughts and you also don't have to resist any thoughts. You become the observer of your thoughts and watch them pass by. So let's close our eyes and let's begin.
you can slowly open your eyes. And if you like, you can share what you felt in your meditation or what you are feeling now. You can also do it in the Discord voice channel. For me, uh, personally, the past meditations have been, like the last week, have been sort of interesting. I think that was more about accepting, accepting that my mind is a little bit, you know, busy and a little bit um, sort of fuzzy because we're um, we're about to move and we need a lot of stuff uh, planning. So you know, there's a lot of things to do and you don't always have the time for that. At once, like you need to do it throughout the whole week. So there will always be things that come up also during meditation for me where I realize like, oh yeah, I still have to do this or do that. It's just what it is, you know, you can't, you can't fight it. Sometimes I have sessions where my mind sees, seems completely clear and sometimes I don't, um, I don't know, there's no magic trick to get rid of that. Maybe, you know, if you go live in a mountain somewhere all alone, it might be that you have that less, but living in our world and you know, living with responsibility sometimes means things will come up and that's fine too. Uh, so I see uh, Asoko shared, uh, I haven't meditated in over a week, especially not a free flow meditation in even longer. At first it was hard getting into it and noticed how rough force my breathing was and felt. But as time went on, I got back into the flow of it and my breathing became very smooth and full. That's nice. Yeah. With the breathing, you know, also with the bubble, it's like an indication. But um, it's important that you don't force your breathing. Because then that can become a new sort of distraction for your mind, you know. That you're like pushing it. But um, yeah, glad you joined us. And Dizzy says, I have a hard time focusing these last two weeks. Which is understandable considering what is going on in my life at the moment. I started with open-eyed meditation, but that made some cringe moments to pop up. So I closed them to better focus. It's all right though. Yeah, so um, I can sort of feel that. We're not in the same situation, I imagine, but in a way, you know, things happen in your life and things go on and things are changing and those will come up in your meditation. I feel sometimes, you know, at least, Especially the first part of meditation, the the first, I, I don't know, sometimes 15 minutes, could be 5 minutes, could also be 20 minutes. You become aware of what is going on in your, in your body, you become aware of what is going on in your emotions, your feelings, in your thoughts, and in a way, what is going on in your life. So in that case, you know, the meditation seems also almost more like a check-in, like you're checking in with yourself to see how you're doing. You know, oh my, my lower back hurts, or uh, oh wow, there are many thoughts about my mother and that conversation we had. And that's just an indication that that apparently is something that is going on in your life. But with meditation, it feels that there's more of a distance between those things happening and the awareness that is observing that. I think that's the important thing to realize that with, you know, practice and meditation, you just become aware that there's a space between you and all those things happening, your emotions, your feelings, uh, the diver divorce of your parents, you moving to another country, you failing at your university for your exams, you finding a new job, happy things, you know, sad things, they're all sort of happening in this sort of magical world that we live in and this magical life that we have 
<clears throat> but with meditation, you take a moment to observe what is going on and take a little bit of distance. Not like real distance, like you're not, it's not depersonalization, like you're not, it's not about that, you know, you're not disconnecting from the world or your body. You're just becoming aware that those things are happening, but that this awareness itself that is seeing those things happening is not necessarily involved with all those things in the way that you think it is. Like, you know, it could also be bigger things like politics or climate change or, you know, the voting on this person or that person or, or wars going on. Like, they're, they're very important um, in a certain way. But with meditation, you check in and find out that actually, you know, if you are able to connect with yourself and ground with your your awareness um, it's all right <laughs> that's at least how it feels for me might sound strange but it just feels like everything is all right in the end you know everything is fine so even if things aren't fine in the way of how you want them to be or how millions of people want them to be in, a, in another way, it's still fine. Everything is perfect as it is. I think that's hard to understand immediately. And it's certainly not something to understand logically. It's, um, it's sort of a deep realization that I, I experience through meditation. And I know many other uh, meditators experience. You know? That there, there's a space between you and your thoughts and you and the things happening around you and that space uh, contains sort of vast infinite wisdom and peace and you can always connect with that i think it's very comforting um in that way you, i can also understand you know why some people talk about a heaven or a pure land or or a nirvana or some idyllic you know idea of a perfect place but the funny thing is you don't have to die for that or even follow a certain religion for that i think it's just in every one of us there's this place because it's it's basically all around us you know it's this timeless timeless peace peaceful place that we can just check into i don't know <laughs> for me um that's important to know you know if the apocalypse happens you just do what you got to do um, and you put your heart and soul in in it but somewhere it also feels like you know like actually playing <laughs> the game there's this item with a fox inside you that you can always check in with and it never goes away it doesn't matter what other people do to you or what you experience you can always reach that place because all you have to do is just for five minutes or 10 minutes or 20 minutes or just check in with yourself and uh, find that place of calm. All right, that was it for me for today. Thank you everyone for joining me and listening. And I hope to see you next week. I'll try to make it next week. I'll let you know in advance, at least two days in advance because that will be the week that we are moving. But if all goes well, I'll just be there and we can check in together, <laughs> find this little place of calm. And I would like to ask you to, you know, find that place of calm in, in your own life uh, and do it every day. And that place of calm will slowly grow and it will become like a life force that you can tap into. Don't take my word for it. Um, find out yourself. All right. Have a great evening uh, or day, whatever time it is for you. And uh, bye-bye. <laughs>